teleschool.com learn tele for free hi guys this is chaf from teleschool.com today you are going to learn two non accounting vouchers number 1 memorandum voucher and number 2 post dated voucher so let's start with a memorandum voucher first of all what is memorandum voucher a memorandum voucher is basically a voucher in which you pass the entries of something that you don't know exactly what it is for example you make sales and you don't know whether it will be sales actually or not the client will approve your sale and then return back if the sale is not made then you can enter the, that information into the memorandum voucher for example another example we can take about memorandum vouchers is that you give some cash to your office staff for daily expenses and you don't know exactly how much expenses are going to occur then you can use memorandum vouchers that you have given cash and then you can convert that voucher into the payment voucher when actual payment figure you receive the main thing about memorandum voucher is that the entries are not reflected in your accounts unless and until you convert that into some kind of voucher whether payment or receipt and the advantage of this is that you don't have to remember you just make a memorandum voucher entry in tally and you are done so let's start i will show you one memorandum voucher entry how to pass it and you can learn from it the rest of every memorandum entry so we are into the vouchers now it is payment voucher we will go to the memorandum voucher by pressing control f10 or just simply clicking memos in the right hand side bar in tally so i have clicked memos and it is showing memorandum in the left upper corner of the window so let's say i gave office expenses to my staff so there is no account called office expenses so let me first create it office expenses under indirect expenses and here you go so let's say i gave 10000 for office expenses and cash i have given so credit cash so i have passed a memorandum voucher actually created it now let's see the memorandum voucher you can actually see how many memorandum vouchers you have created and how many are in the list by going into the reports for that you have to go to display so by scrolling down or you can directly press d now you have to see the exception reports you can directly press f or you can scroll down i'm pressing x and here are memorandum vouchers you can press m here it is one it is showing we have passed one memorandum voucher in december for office expenses of 10000 rupees it does not it will not show in the balance sheet that is in the accounts we have cash in hand of 50000 actually if you rewind back the video you will see that cash was 40000 but will not reflect because 10000 will reflect when you convert that into payment when actual figure you have received so this was a memorandum voucher now number 2 which i have talked about earlier was a post dated voucher a post dated voucher basically is for post dated checks or we can say post dated entries generally it is used for post dated checks that you receive or you have paid to someone a post dated check so in this example we are going to see that you receive a post dated check so again let's go to vouchers accounting vouchers by pressing v or scrolling down scrolling up here it is so first of all you have to select a post dated voucher by pressing control t or simply press clicking post dated in the right hand bar so it will show post dated written on the head of the voucher now for, 
in this example we receive money we receive check from amit post dated so we have to type it bank we have we don't have bank account created so we'll create a ledger named bank under bank accounts okay and rest same yeah so we have received say 5000 a post dated check of 31st december actually today is 30th december and enter all the details received from a and check dd just for example purpose i am keeping all the details now we have received check from amit so i'll credit amit and this is it. a post dated entry is made actually post dated effects shows up in the accounts when you select that date range let me show you press dal consecutively it, it will display the list of ledgers DAL. so amit so i have not selected the date range so it is not showing let me select the date range one minute i actually created a memorandum post dated voucher so it was not showing now that's a new concept that i discovered during the video memorandum post dated voucher so you can see that in the x m two vouchers one is post dated voucher memorandum so if you are not sure the check is coming going to come then you can pass that in memorandum so along with that let's now see how you can convert a memorandum voucher into a simple voucher so i'll keep it post dated but i'll convert the memorandum into receipt voucher because we have received a check a post dated check so we'll convert by pressing f6 from the keyboard or you can press simply receipt so and we have to just omit 5000 and debit the bank 5000 so we have debited the bank and credited omit so now it is a post dated voucher but it is not a memorandum one so we can see it in the accounts here it is receipt of 5000 rupees in the bank post dated voucher of 31st december so this were a post dated voucher as well as memorandum vouchers one thing i want to say not many people are using memorandum vouchers and post dated vouchers because they don't know actually that there is such feature available in tally i hope you will use it after knowing it and please share it if you liked it do share with your friends and tell your friends that you know memorandum vouchers and post dated vouchers one more announcement i am going to make today is tally school i have made a new tally school twitter handle at tally school you can follow tally school now on twitter do like us on facebook tally school we are reaching near 200 likes we need you to reach the 100 likes goal i would be very happy if you make it thank you thank you very much for watching